Hello wonderful humans, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the next iteration of my second brain template in Notion. It's based off the feedback of hundreds of second brain users and biggest problems that they face when they were first getting set up. I'm going to walk through the template based on the top three biggest problems that I've seen those people face and also the experience that I've gained in helping other people run their businesses more effectively using Notion. Those top three problems were the pain of manually linking hundreds, if not thousands of notes between their projects, their areas, and their resources. The uncertainty if a note is a project or an area, does it go in the knowledge hub or is it just a note? And finally, the paralyzation that some people feel to iterate on their system towards an optimal design. Let's get into it. So the number one challenge was this feeling that you needed to manually link all of the notes from projects to areas, to the knowledge hub and to your resources and that overwhelming sense that you just need to keep maintaining this thing over time. When you reach the sort of 200 to 300 note mark, the manual linking process becomes quite unwieldy. Many notes just sit there and never contribute to your projects, which might leave you thinking, well, I'm not doing something right or I haven't been tidying up and connecting things in a proper way. There's the sense that you might lose these notes to irrelevance. This isn't just a problem with Notion, it's actually a problem with the whole space of note taking and tools for thought in general. Luckily for us, I think it's something that the use of AI will solve for us in the next couple of years. In the future, data might be automatically linked, tagged, and even organized for you. But for now, maybe those notes did need to be lost to irrelevance. If they weren't actively used in a project, maybe they should be allowed to sink down to the bottom and then end up in your archive. So what do we do about this in this manual note linking paradigm? The answer that I've arrived at is a kind of elegant solution to all three of the top problems that I outlined earlier. It's not the best solution, but it's what we've got for now in this manual linking paradigm. The best solution I found comes from thinking about your notes as they relate to time. If you're looking in the new template, there's a dashboard. In the dashboard, there are multiple views to plan your work across the yearly, quarterly, weekly, and daily time horizons. Instead of thinking too deeply and potentially paralyzing yourself about whether a note is a resource or if it's a project or if it's a note or should just belong in the Knowledge Hub, it's much easier just to leave it at the very top of a project page that you know that this is loosely related to or leave it in the quarterly planning area so that you can organize it into the correct project later. This is good for at least four reasons. A, you can stay messy without the upfront mental cost of breaking your workflow to figure out if this note needs to go in a very specific place. B, you're increasing the relevance of that note by placing it in time and even in the specific project that's related to. No one has time to write all the metadata of when, why, and who they were taking the note with. So just putting it in the top of the quarterly planning page or in the project that it's relevant to which means you'll likely remember the context in which you were when you were adding that note to your system. Or if you don't remember the context, then at least you know that it's driving towards some kind of goal, either on the quarterly level or the project level. The shift here is from something that was kind of static first into a dynamicism, into something which was already dynamic and messy, and then it's starting to organize itself towards the goals. I like to use a toggle at the top of the pages, which basically says, tidy this up as you go and keep all the links that I need in there. The old way of doing this was to start thinking about which database this needed to be in. And this would slow down the process of adding it to the right place. And if you didn't manually link it, then you might forget that this was driving towards a specific goal, might need to search for it in the past, and then bring it back when you were engaging in the project again. But in this way, it's already there in the project. It's just there pointing towards the goal of the project and you can pick it up and organize it in your own time. When you come to review your work at the end of the quarter, you can begin to understand the nature and the effectiveness of your work. At a high level, you can see how messy your work is, you can see your project completion rate, and you can see how you could start to iterate on your system to improve your output. It's often good at these quarterly reviews to note if you didn't use Notion that much, or if you did use it a lot, and how you used it. You may have spent time in other apps and tools because the nature of the work was different, or you needed to output different deliverables. At the end of the quarter, you can ask things like, do I want to integrate Notion with these tools? Or does the nature of my work mean that I have to adapt my Notion usage in a certain way? You might come to find that you need to build a new module or a workflow or a different process. Whatever it is, by reviewing your notes in time in each quarter, you can begin to optimize your system. Finally, the last point that I kind of really want to drill home is the point of making the notes relevant. By situating it in time, you're placing it next to other projects, deadlines, and goals. That way you can remember why you placed it there instead of just placing it in a database. It can still go into the database, but that's a kind of second step that happens as you're working in the area and tidying up. All of this embraces a kind of creative chaos 
which allows you to free up your mind from thinking about where this note needs to go. You just put it in the project, put it in the quarter, and you can organize it as you go along. So that's a quick whiz around the new template. You can find the download link for it in the comment section below. There's two opportunities I want to let you guys know about. The first is that I'm preparing to launch a series of videos on how to use Notion's AI effectively with other AI tools such as personal AI, ChatGPT, and Elicit. AI is going to augment the way that you learn, build new connections, create, and make sense of the world. By downloading the augmented second brain template, you'll be receiving early access to all of my content on how to use AI with Notion effectively. And the second opportunity I want to leave you guys with is if you're a teenager, my company is hosting a free Discord server for teens using Notion as a second brain, who are interested in learning real-world skills that schools can't teach you, while learning alongside friends from all over the world. It's a network of mentors and projects that you can get connected with, as well as weekly Thursday sessions to connect with myself or other mentors in the City as a School network to get feedback on projects and teach each other cool stuff that you've learned in the week. If you're between the ages of 14 to 19 and you want to turn your passions into opportunities, there's a link to book a call with me in the comments section below, where we'll do an onboarding call and get you connected to the rest of the City as a School network. Thanks for watching, guys.